Sunday, March 31st. I uh, wanted to do some commentary on the last couple of weeks, specifically the experiment that I was running through in these accumulated stress weeks. So leading up to week 77 was a bunch of regular programming with alternating intensities between each week, um, alternating volumes in a high low medium variation. Weights were overall going up with everything. Beginning of week 77, fatigue carried over from those weeks was too high. Intensity had to be lowered for the lower body movements, the squat and the deadlift. Bench and press remained the same, continued up the way they have been. But intensity for the squat and deadlift had to go down. I kept the volume the same. The middle of the week, instead of pause squats, I transitioned into doing just high bar. So it was something totally different. And what resulted was Saturday, the performance being great. Everything, any kind of carryover fatigue from the last five or six weeks had been for the most part dissipated. I was able to get the PRs. And specifically, if you look at the video too, Tuesday, the 275 squat single at eight looks so different than the 275 squat warm up on Saturday. And similarly, the deadlift speed on Saturday was amazing. 315 felt like nothing. 365 was made a lot harder than it needed to be. And then the 390 just flew up, which is great. So the plan for the next several weeks is I'm making a number of changes. I'm not going to take a pivot week. I don't see the point in that right now. That doesn't seem necessary. I'm making enough changes as is. I'm putting in pause benches for the back offsets Saturday. Um, I'm only going to squat Tuesday and Saturday. No squatting in the middle of the week. And that's kind of an experiment to spare myself of shoulder and elbow stress, um, as well as just see if I can do it. Squats in lots of volume have always been very stressful for me, and it's not clear in my history of training that I respond very well to squatting volume. So in the interest of that, I'm going to see if I can continue to drive the intensity up and take out an entire day, uh, which was previously the pause squatting day. Thursday's lighter pulls will be RDLs. The reason for that being is it really focuses on getting your low back extended in the lat involvement. And I really want that. That's just something that I feel I could be doing a lot better at. Pin press was every other week. It's gonna be every week now. My heavy press will be a pin press, overloaded. And then the back off regular presses for volume. And also I'll be doing barbell curls on Thursday. And the reasoning I think is sound for this. I'm not just doing it because I want to curl. I'm doing it because I've had uh, a history of biceps tendon issues, particularly my right arm, which did flare up uh, a couple weeks ago and it was really bothering me. And chins historically have always been a beneficial thing for me. Just the elbow flexion under load was really great. The cool thing about the chins too is that you can load it incrementally and you can work a lot of the back. But since I'm doing RDLs, it's gonna be for volume. There's gonna be a lot of back work there, a lot of lat involvement. I would rather do something about the elbow flexor to help the tendon, up to the tendon issue that doesn't interfere with the RDLs. So I'm getting the elbow flexor work from the barbell curls and uh, then the RDLs can work their magic the way they need to. I don't know how it's gonna work, but that's the point. It's all an experiment. So just gonna see how it goes. Uh, but that's the plan coming into week 78. I will continue to proceed with the same plan um, until I expect we get to a point in five to six weeks where I have to do some back off intensity early in that sixth or seventh week and then continue forward again.